lots of different people have to board ships at one time or another. If you are a visitor to the ship, you may be cautious of your surroundings, on the lookout for dangers and hazards. But if you're a seafarer, and you are used to boarding many different types of vessel around the world, in all weathers, you might not be so careful. Contractors may also have plenty of experience on board ships, though many of them stay on board for just a few hours, until the job's done. It's easy to forget how dangerous ships are, and the worst of all, the one that will catch out even an experienced seafarer, is the unfamiliar vessel, the one which can catch you off guard. Someone who may only spend a few hours on board might not feel that they need to know anything about the vessel they're on. But the truth is, it only takes a moment for something to happen which could seriously injure or even kill you. It's important to get familiar with the ship as quickly as possible, and it's mandatory under the ISM code and STCW to be aware of key safety issues. And sprinklers. There's a good reason why that's so. It's a vital part of staying safe. Yes. As soon as you board a vessel for the first time, you'll have help with getting to know the layout and key safety information. Good morning. This whole process is an important part of the ship's safety management system, or SMS. Remember, as well, that your new knowledge will be of no value unless you use it. If you come across anything you believe is unsafe, whether it be a life jacket in poor condition, or perhaps oil and grease somewhere on the deck, do something about it. Take it up with the ship's safety officer, or with the master, if you have to. On board, the ship's safety officer has a key role to play in explaining and managing the SMS. But he's not alone. Every one of the ship's officers and crew has a duty to make sure that the ship and everyone on it stays safe. There is also the designated person ashore, or DPA, whose responsibility is to ensure the safe operation of every vessel in the fleet and provide a link between the company and the seafarers on board each vessel. The company and the ship's officers and crew take safety very seriously, and so must you. You'll be given a safety briefing as soon as you arrive on board. The extent of this will depend on company policy and whether you are boarding as a new or returning member of the crew or as a contractor or visitor to the ship. 